Today's the day. We're going to pull all this back out. Had a little bit of rain last night. Then we're gonna tape higher mill plastic above the bootstrap and connect it here to the bottom. Make like a little bit of a tent. We'll vent it out on the back side. Haven't decided yet if we run a shot vac or run a filter vent out the back. So then to answer the question of how does it connect? So when you connect the top plastic to the bottom, you connect the edges and you roll it up and clamp it. So there are gonna be clamps all down through here. Then one will go in and blast it away. Typically you want this plastic already down, but with the boat already on kill blocks, we're just kind of piece it all together. With all these through holes, it's kind of One last look at all the ablative paint. That double layer tape all the way around. Got all the through holes plugged. We're gonna even get up underneath, spray all this. So what exactly is soda blasting? It's a mild form of a
abrasive blasting using sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. Many yards turn to it now. The blasting soda, the baking soda, is an extremely friable material. It's self-contained. And the pressures used are a lot lower than sandblasting. Doesn't take long to get the rest of this tent put together. At the top, we did a final layer of Gorilla Tape just to seal in the top. And if any holes are punctured in this tent, we'll be sure to patch those with this Gorilla Tape. But again, double layer. Um, you want a double layer of tape to avoid it getting sprayed and then now you have you know a million pieces of tape that you're just gonna have to grind off It looks very good and a lot of the white pastiness that's the leftover in the soda blasting that will need to be pressure washed off before any barrier coat is applied it just won't stick to it as well I still have a lot of work to do. I need to grind down some of these spots where I need to strengthen the hole. I'll re glass to shape it back. Then I'll need to ferret, sand, do that whole process. And then finally, a barrier coat.
I'll apply the barrier coat white, then gray, then white, then gray. So gray will be the final color before I then put on a bottom paint. And I haven't decided yet if it's going to be ablative, non-ablative, uh, some of the copper derivatives out there. I, I don't know. So that's something to figure out before. And I have quite a bit to patch up here in the fix before I even get the barrier cut on. Especially here on the kill. Some spots here will need to be built back up. Repair all the damage. 